Oh, there's a five medium. Okay. Hello, five medium. Could we be crossing off one of our five diamonds that we need left in the game? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Darth Sloan here, your partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds, and we are on that other game. The game that's called The Hunter Called the Wild. As you just saw, guys, we spotted one. What happens there? Do we get trolled? Do we knock one of our five remaining diamonds we have left in the game off from our list? Wait around to find out. We're going to put that footage in, the rest of that hunt, toward the end of the video. Right now, I'm just going to kind of throw together a guide to show you where I hunt for these guys. If you're going to do this type of hunting in a tripod and you don't want to move, stick that electronic collar out there. I already had the decoy set there. You don't have to have the decoys. Uh, so I'm doubled up here. But I just went, these are my good places to hunt for magpie. So I just stuck it out there a little bit past my... I don't want them landing right on top of me. So... I stick it past my decoys and I just turn that on and it'll sit there and call them in for me. But the decoys, like I said, you don't have to have them with this electronic collar. Just pick it up when you move spots. It's perfect for this type of hunting. And then your dog goes and gets them for you. But I'm right here on the map. Now, as you can see, anywhere around like these broken mangrove, the, the broken water areas, not always though, not every place, because I, I wanted to set up here and I couldn't, could never get them to come in. I wanted to not have to put a tent down and use that. And of course they wouldn't come in there, but they do right here. But I've got four spots that I hunt. These three right here, these three spots right here I hunt. Right here, uh, close to Jakewood Cottage. I don't even use a tent there. I just walk out there. Got a, a tent here this spot so there and there and then here so those three spots and then up here in the north those are the four spots if you have another spot that you like to hunt on let me know when you are hunting for these you want to kill the whole flock out it's a little different so you want to shoot females actually with some species in the game, you don't ever want to shoot females. Most species, actually, you don't want to shoot females because you're going to get a female for a female. But what we think is happening with these birds, and I've killed all the diamonds, and I think a lot of people would agree with me. I've killed all the diamond duck species, for example. And as far as the flock animals go, the magpie is the last one. It's just simply because I haven't put the time in yet. You got to take out a whole flock. If they're a flock animal. Now, a hazel grouse, they're not flock animals. That's the other bird that I need in the game right now besides the stubble quail. I, I need three birds. Hazel grouse, magpie, stubble quail. And then the, my other two animals, raccoon dog and mountain hare off of Ribbon Tule. So we're, we're on those hard animals right now. Now we've got a bunch coming in, looks like. Ooh, there's a four. I see that four is a diamond potential. We're hoping to, to target that one first. We don't want to lose sight of it, and then we'll shoot as many as we can when they land. Let's make sure I reloaded. I've done that so many times. Right there's the one. I want to watch that flock right there, and then I'll, I'll shoot him, and then as many more as I can. But where that's a diamond potential, that's the one that I really want to... Make sure that I get here. I think he's landing right now. So it's a good idea to go ahead and be aimed at him. And if you see it to where he's spooking, getting ready to take off, I'm letting as many of them land as I can. Okay. And that's how you do it. You just uh, target the biggest one and then shoot the rest of them. At least four we killed there. I don't know. I just started unloading in the middle of that wad. I like that you don't have to keep telling the dog to. If you kill like three or four there in one big spot, the dog will just keep going after them. But when it gets to where I just haven't seen any in a long time, then I'll just change spots. 
All right, we just leveled our dog up. So our choices are your dog has a chance to ward off predator attacks. If your dog retrieves a, at longer distances and is less burdened by... Yes. Yes, please. Longer distances, baby. All right, let's get this. All right, guys, we're going to move on to another spot. Before you leave, always remember, go and pick up your electronic collar. Got it now, and I'm just going to move right on up here. Move this spot. Let's get some pressure down here. Now, here's the reason for the way I've got this set up. If you're too close to the water, the crocodiles will spook the magpies. So I always put my tent closer to the water. When your tent is real close, the animals are invisible. So if they're not there, you can't spook my animals. So that's another reason. But I, put, I always put my tent close to the water. Then I put my decoy, my collar, whatever, even further away from the water for a female. You know, I, I once shot a level four female. So I wonder if female magpie could make it. Does anybody out there know? Here's another flock coming in. There's a three, another three, another three, female. Like we got another one that broke off. Sometimes they'll just split like that. But yeah, we're just gonna go to town on them whenever they land, we'll just kill as many of them as we can. But I did kill a goad level four female one time. All right, we got a bunch that landed in here on us. Looks like we have the remaining birds of that flock flying in right now. We had two different flocks. We had one that was on back there. But we've got uh, a bunch landing on us here and they're landing right next to my dog already turning defensive all right guys we are going to go to our third location the jakewood cottage and we already have a flock coming in we are right here again the east of jakewood cottage we have hunted this location this location we'll just pretend like i hit that right there even though i know i didn't Go get it, bro. We got three, maybe? All right, we've got a nice flock coming in here. Got a two level threes and a two as far as males go. A level three female. Oh, yeah. Did I just see one running off? Oh, we hit that. That's going to... That's that's nice. That's a nice shot. If we watch him die, or watch her die right there. She is going to be right there. Uh, that's a long way away. If she'll just stay right there on the bank, I could go get her. My dog is definitely not going to get that one. Oh, this is nice. Oh, we killed them all. <laughs> we killed them all. That was great. Go get them. So that flock's gone. <laughs> nice still curious about that one how far if it didn't if it if it stayed right there where my markers at now where it, it probably landed in the water it may end up floating down and i may never find that one but i hope i find that i want to see how far away i shot that one well we're hunting out here at our fourth location and there's a balloon that's neat all right let's uh there is a that one level four right there 
armed. How in the world? I guess we overshot because they were really close. All right, we've got another diamond potential right there. And one of these that we just killed was also a level four. Okay, this one's abandoned. Not too far from us here. That one too. We got two level fours laying here. It's two shots at a diamond, but I would be shocked. All right, here's one of the level fours, 3.47. As you can see, they go diamond at 3.85. So not quite, not quite there. There's the other one, 3.51. He didn't make it either, so. Three, three, another four. Getting some good spawns up here. This is where we got that five that you saw at the beginning of the video as well. This is probably my favorite spot. This, this is a good spot. Now, what I like about this level four versus the other two that I shot is right there. See that two to three kg? That right there. The other ones that we shot just had two kg. Now, where that one says two to three kg, this one weighs a little more and has a little bit of a better chance making diamond. Not that it will. Oh, why don't we reload? That'd be smart. Did we get us a dime level four? No. 3.54. Oh, well, I'm going to drop that footage in so you can see, did we get a dime out of our level five? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this guide brings you your diamond magpie goose. If you would, please hit a like, subscribe, notify bell if this has helped you. If it's not, and you just feel sorry for me, drop one in anyway. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you in the next video. High five medium, magpie goose. How are you doing? Hi. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You know what, dog? Go pick up my dime. Go get my dime. You got one job, dog. Go get my dime. You know what I'm saying? Rock chalk jeeple. We now have. Oh, we could have been trolled. We could have been trolled. We could have just gotten one of my remaining five dimes and marked it off the list right there. Be the dime. Be the dime. Be the dime. Oh, it's a silver mail. Be the dime. Be the dime. Be the dime. <gasps> Distraught. No. No. Mike, you evil. You're ruthless. How, how far off were we? Point zero four. Oh, God. It stings. Stop once you've started. It stings. All right. Yeah. <laughs>